The Political Psychology of Political Leaders of the Third World Countries. A politician should have a good head on shoulders, a good sense of humor, conscientious character, so that the obsession neurosis of power does not make him mad or insane. The power is a mental healiness for the politician who can control its emotion. Though a process of sublimation, there are politicians that try to satisfy the narcissism in megalomania for the greatest of the people. In other words, I am talking of the great statesman, the great politician, such as General Charles de Gaulle of France, who said, Beside powerful personalities, organized of for struggle, trial, major events, do not always easy disadvantages, this aware of seduction that appeal in the course of ordinary life. To consider that political science is an art, we must learn how to admire, to appreciate the greatest politician of all times. My admiration for General Charles de Gaulle to the late Prime Minister, Mr. Winston Churchill, Thomas Jefferson is refutable. These were great politicians who set in motion a people who have managed to change the course of their destiny. These qualities are very rare to find to those who involve in politics. I advise mediocre politicians to read the stories, bi biographies of great politicians. If they are normal men, men who do not miss a chromosome, if they want to apply this advice, they can benefit from them. They can learn, comprehend what constitutes the psychological character of the good politicians. Several, quest several questions if the politics was innate in the, greatest, in the great politician. Several political scientists had problems to answering this question. Politics could be an innate passion or a family heirloom. I'm addressing to the great politician by speaking the innate passion in politics. I'm not talking about mentally ill politicians. Several presidents of the third world countries are fooled to govern. Psychology justifies that power, especially absolute power, which most often find in the third world countries affect the personality of those politicians. They are suffering the neurosis of power. They often exhibit bipolar personality. They cut themselves off from reality. They do not listen to anyone. They do not respect the office of the president. They do a stupid thing in public. The power leads them to a very high risk of mental pathology. All bloodthirsty leaders, the arrogant leaders, are abnormal. That is megalomania. These leaders are affected by mental illness. With the rate of criminal prison in the world, especially in the third world countries, people can herald that they are living in patocracy world. In other words, a world that are governing by crazy politicians. Patocracy is a political system that people, in other words, politicians that are mentally ill govern a society of normal people. In fact, several polit political leaders exhibited the personality, exhibited, exhibit the personality traits of serial killers. For example, François Duvalier, the late Bortesti of Haiti, Rafael Trujillo, the psychopath, the notorious criminal, the mass murderer of Santo Domingo, the majority president of Latin American countries, just to mention a few, were serial killers. Adolf Hitler suffered from manic depressive. François Duvalier was paranoid. In Haiti, there are a second Paul de Chanel, who was a French president who traveled by rail in pyjamas. By Paul Bart. Paul Duchamel was not a political madness. He was naturally disturbed. The government of Santo Domingo suffers from narcissistic, egocentric. Moreover, 
a president will make publicly down great gesture which launches inappropriate words and act publicly insane suffers from mental confusion, a lack of intellectual discernment. It is a psychomimetic. Consequently, a country of laws, the lower house and the upper house would vote him out. Luckily, for this small politician, for this deranged, insane, the majority of poor countries, countries of Latin America, have no justice. Political anarchy prevails in these countries. There will be a day when the Lord will say, enough is enough. Thank you.